and I'm in the lobby. The receptionist is not there. Out of the studio, uh, one of the studios, Studio B, comes uh, a kid named Nigel Walker. And Nigel was an assistant engineer. Right. And I said, hey, you know, I'm from New York. I just you know, can I, you know, I want, I want to look for a job. And he goes, well, the girl's not here, you know, yeah, but you're welcome to come in and hang out. So I came in, and the first session that uh, that I went in on was uh, John Punter was the engineer. John did all the Roxy yes. music records yeah. and, you know, just uh, a legendary, legendary, legendary guy. Right. Yeah. And there was Bill Price, an engineer, and, you know, Jeff Emmerich was an engineer there. And, you know, so here I am, I'm in the studio, and he was doing a record with a band called, uh, oh, sorry, with Alan Clark, who was the lead singer for the Hollies. Right. And the backup band of D. Murray on bass from Melton John's band, and Brinsley Schwartz, the drummer from, from the rock band Brinsley Schwartz. And here I am, I'm sitting in the studio with all these like long haired rock musicians. They're all smoking weed, and, you know, I'm just like, holy oh, shit, you know. And then uh, somebody wanted a pack of cigarettes. And I said, okay, I'll get you a pack of cigarettes. I'm going downstairs. And that's what I did. I went downstairs, got him a pack of cigarettes. And if somebody wanted a, a coffee, I'd say, okay, I'll get you coffee. Right. And uh, somebody wanted tea, I'll okay, get you tea, no problem. And that's what I did. And then when the session was over, at like 3 o'clock in the morning, I came back the next day. And I came back the next day. Right. The next day. Next day. And then Joyce Moore, uh, was the studio manager and uh, we became very good friends and uh, she said would you like a would you like an assisting job you know the clients love you and uh, I said sure you know she says I'll give you you know 20 quid a week for expenses and uh, you know 20 pounds back then it's probably 50 bucks a week right, right? Yeah. hanging out hanging out and learning from the, from the best right yeah, and what what better way to learn than from that huge heap of a heap of talent, right? Every, every everyone was there. Like any engineer who was an engineer was at Air Studios. Yeah. Any producer had the best producers in the business at Air Studios. And then they uh, and then I started ping ponging. Uh, you know, uh, then I, you know I met Sir George and you know everyone. Bill Price, a legendary engineer, did all the Sex Pistols records, did all the Pretender records, uh, engineered all the Chris Thomas records. Right. Um, and uh, and I just uh, and they loved me. They, you know, I was you know anything anybody wanted, I was able to get. You know, I just ran downstairs and, and got it for him. Went upstairs to the kitchen, you know, at the studio, got it for him. And um, and then they started assigning me to sessions. And uh, the one of the one of the very first sessions that they assigned me to was the Live and Let Die, uh, Paul McCartney and Wayne soundtrack. To the James Bond uh, uh, movie. That's not so, a bad thing to uh, have as, as a first hey, assignment, I'll, is it? I'll, I'll empty ashtrays all day long, baby. Right. You know? how, how long did you have to do, like the, the emptying the ashtrays and being the runner? Probably six months. Six months. Good six, good six months. Just, yeah. And you know, at that you know, I had no hands-on training, so right. I'm over everyone's fucking shoulder. I'm just like, holy shit, this is yeah. cool, you know? Yeah. What does that do? What does that do? What does that do? Yeah. And that, that's really how you learn. And then... That's you know, how everybody then, learns. Yeah, yeah. And then how else do you learn? You sat down and you drove the car. And when everyone left at night, and you're there alone, cleaning up and emptying at you, rolling up mic cables, putting the mics away, you know, you, you get behind the board and you start messing around with things. Right. What does that do? What is that compression? What does that EQ sound like? You know?